Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you three must-know Procreate features to speed up your workflow. Let's get started. So I just wanted to show you a new feature that's just come out with the iOS 11 update. This is now Procreate 4 and it's kind of like a split screen. So if you swipe up with your finger, you can see all of these icons. If you hold and drag the file, you can click it into place and it almost becomes an extension of Procreate. This has just really helped with kind of sharing your work, so if you want to drag and drop files into these different groups and you can do that and you can also move various stacks so stacks and groups um, also into files which is is really cool and it saves a lot of time because the old version of Procreate didn't have this so you having to save everything manually. You can also at the top uh, press select and you can select multiple groups as well so groups and stacks and you can drag all of those, sorry, grab all of those, well that's a lot of files that would have to be put into there but that's also an option. If you then want to get rid of it afterwards all you have to do is hold down and pull the file down and then on the right, just slide with your finger to get rid of it. The second feature I want to talk to you about is the selection tool. And this is a really good way of separating parts of your illustrations into different layers. If you can see in the top left corner, the freehand selection tool here, and you have at the bottom, you have automatic and freehand. So at the moment, I just want to click on freehand and I now circle the illustration that I want to separate onto a new layer. Now that I've selected it, with three fingers, I swipe down on the screen and this will pop up. You can either do cut and paste or copy and paste. I quite like to do cut and paste because I want it on a separate layer, I don't want to keep it on the same, so cut and paste. And as you can see now, that illustration is in a different layer to the first. So I want to talk to you about the colour drop feature. As you can see, I've got my green selected. So if I draw a shape here, and say if I wanted to maybe draw a pink shape here, and I make sure that my line work is complete, there's no breaks, because obviously when I drop the colour, I don't want it to leak everywhere. So I just drag the pink over, and as you can see, there's a bar at the top and it says colour drop threshold. So if I want to put it down quite low, I'll show you if I zoom in, the line work is quite bad because it hasn't filled the whole shape properly. If I go back and drop again, I'll put the threshold to about 97. If I put it to 100%, then it just completely fills your page. So I think 90% is is good and then I zoom in again and you have no kind of white line so it's completely filled and it's a lot neater. So I'm going to fill the green shape in now but obviously I'm still on the pink and I want this colour. You can obviously hold your finger down and colour pick the colour that way um, but there's actually a shortcut. If you hold down on the colour in the top corner it actually turns to the colour you were previously using. So if I hold that down again, it will turn to the pink, hold it down again and turn to the green. And it's a really good way of if you're using two or three colours in your work, it just really speeds things up. So then I can just drag and drop and making sure that the threshold's about 90%. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then be sure to subscribe to my channel where I'll be posting more illustration tips every week. Thanks for watching. Bye.